Yo, what's going on? Mr. Tech right here. Today we're going to answer the question of should you buy Apple Care for the MacBook Air, Mac Mini, or the new MacBook Pro? And the short answer for me is yes, you should get Apple Care if it's available or if you can afford it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and break this down and talk about both sides and go a little bit, you know, deeper into this because I know it's not exactly um, a cut and dry question for a lot of people. There are a lot of concerns, but I'm going to try and talk about it to the best of my knowledge. Also, I took some notes on my iPhone. So if I look down at my iPhone, it's because I am checking the notes because there is so much stuff to remember and I just want to make sure I don't get it wrong. So as far as price, the Mac mini Apple care is $99. The Apple care for the MacBook air is $249 and the Apple Care on the MacBook Pro is $269. Now, one thing that you need to know is whether or not you get the base model or you get the maxed out model of that product, the Apple Care price is going to be the same. So if you go and get a base model Mac Mini, it's going to be $99. If you max it all the way out and spend almost two grand or whatnot, it's still going to be $99. So that can be a plus for a lot of you out there that are going out and maxing out these machines. Um, you know, it kind of makes sense to go ahead and pay like the, uh, the $99 for the Apple Care and kind of, you know, protect your, you know, product. I wouldn't say investment, but protect your product. Now, the other interesting thing is where the huge jump in Apple Care goes from the Mac Mini to the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro because with MacBook Air it's $249 and that's a good chunk of change like pretty much that's almost one-fourth of the entire cost of the entire product if you get the base model and kind of similar with the uh, MacBook Pro having to pay $269 on top of the base amount of $1299 could be a little bit strenuous for some people but we're just going to go ahead and explain everything with Apple Care. But with Apple Care, you get up to three years of Apple certified coverage. You also get 24 7 technical support. You also get up to two incidents of accidental damage every 12 months. So basically, the Apple Care, it goes for three years. So you get up to two accidental damages every 12 months for, you know, 36 months or three years. You also get battery service coverage, and I'll go ahead and talk about that and kind of break everything down. So basically, the three years of Apple certified coverage, basically what that is is if you have anything that goes wrong with your MacBook or with your Mac, whether it be like, let's say, a manufacturer defect or anything like that, you can take it into Apple to have them fix it. You can mail it back to the Apple to have them fix it. You could even take it to a authorized Apple service provider so like when my iPhone broke last year and, you know, I couldn't take it to Apple, I was able to take it to Best Buy and they were able to, you know, do the service on it, a.k.a. swap it out. The 24-7 technical support, basically, you know, you just call up Apple and you're just like, hey, I need technical support and, you know, they help you out. Also with Apple Care, they kind of put you in like this like priority mode or whatnot. So um, supposedly they're supposed to get you through faster, but... I mean, with as many people that are out there buying Apple Care, I don't know if it's that much faster than not having it, but that that is a plus. You can call them 24-7 for the next three years for pretty much any issues that you have with the MacBook or the uh, Mac Mini, and they'll help you try and figure it out. Now, with the two incidents of accidental coverage, I highly recommend you go and read all of the terms and conditions because I won't be able to cover all of them in this video, but I'm just going to basically you know, give you the gist of it. You get two incidents of accidental coverage. Um, it's pretty much self-explanatory, but things like a broken screen, um, damage from a drop or a fall, you know, things that Apple would deem accidental, like pretty much when you go to take it to Apple and you tell them something broke, um, they can basically determine, you know, what's accidental, what's not. Um, you're going to have to read about, you know, liquid damage and all that stuff because I really can't determine for Apple what is considered accidental, but go ahead and read all that stuff. Um, you basically get two incidents. So let's say you have your laptop and you're walking along and it accidentally falls and the screen breaks. 
you can take it in for service. Um, yes, there will be a service fee. I think the service fee is like $99 all the way up to $299 based on the damage. But that's all you got to pay and they'll fix it instead of you having to go out and buy a whole nother laptop. Um, one of the reasons why the Apple Care is so cheap on the Mac Mini is because they really don't expect you to move it. So they really don't expect a lot of damage to happen to it. But that's basically, you know, the gist of that part. Um, technically, it can break again or you can have another accident, but that can only happen twice within 12 months. After that, I think you have to pretty much kind of pay for it on your own. But the fact that you get up to two accidents within 12 months is still pretty legit for a machine that starts at $1,000 and can go all the way up to $2,000. Now for the battery coverage, it basically states that if your battery retains less than 80% of its original capacity, you know, you can get it swapped out, you can get it repaired, you know, as long as you are under Apple Care. I don't know if you have that, you know, same ability. If you don't get Apple Care, this is just what is listed under, you know, Apple Care Plus when you start going through all the details during your purchase and during your checkout. So one of the concerns that you may have is, let's say you go to configure your Mac and you put all the stuff that you want to in it and you finally go to the checkout and you add the Apple Care and you see the final price and it's way too much. You don't actually have to get Apple Care on day one. Apple gives you up to 60 days after the purchase date. Remember, purchase date, not when you receive it in the mail. You get up to 60 days to add on Apple Care. So technically you could go ahead and, you know, purchase your MacBook and when it actually arrives and when it gets into your hands, you can go online and then sign up, you know, for the Apple Care or let's say even if you waited a month because you needed to get in that extra check or get in some more money, you could still get the Apple Care Plus just as long as just as long as it's within 60 days of the original purchase. And to be honest, I think you should get Apple Care for this main reason. The fact that these Macs are really not repairable anymore is more of a reason to get Apple Care. The fact that um, you have the M1 chip, you have the SSD, and you have the RAM all soldered on to one board. And if any one of those things fails, you're not gonna be able to replace it on your own. Um, Apple has really made it kind of a thing to make their stuff non-repairable. So, I mean, even if the Touch ID thing breaks, I don't know if you can swap that out and still have it work. I remember that was an issue on iPhones. If you swapped out the Touch ID with another button and you didn't go through Apple, then it wouldn't work at all. So definitely, if you really, really, really don't wanna spend any extra money later on down the line, I would recommend getting Apple Care. Now, if you don't wanna get Apple Care, don't get it, okay? I know there's gonna be somebody in there that's like, oh no, Apple Care is a waste of money, don't get it. Look, that's totally fine. I respect your opinion. This is for the people who are on the fence and they're worried about, hey, should I get Apple Care with this purchase? I'm buying a MacBook for my daughter, I'm buying a MacBook for my girlfriend. Should I get them Apple Care? And I will absolutely say this if you can afford it, get the Apple Care. Straight up, just trying to keep it simple and whatnot. And pretty much, I'm just going to leave it there. Like, legit, if I have a MacBook that I spent $1,000 on or $2,000 on, or maybe, you know, later on down the line, it's going to be $3,000 with the new MacBooks, I want to have some sort of protection. I want to have some sort of coverage. I do not want to have to go in my back pocket and shell out more money for a whole nother computer simply because I didn't, you know, get the insurance or whatnot. So um, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, uh, if you can get Apple Care and hopefully, you know, the people out there who have already purchased their Macs and they didn't get Apple Care you technically should still have time to go ahead and put that on because it really hasn't even been um it hasn't even been a month since the macbook came out so all right y'all that's it for the video y'all take it easy peace